Jeep 4x4x470. Ram 3 Peat. Pacifica Startup. All right now on FCA Replay. Because today, the rules of speed have been rewritten. Jeep rattled the walls this week with the unveiling of the 2021 Wrangler Rubicon 392 and its 470 horsepower, 6.4 liter V8 engine. With a 0 to 60 time of 4.5 seconds and 470 pounds feet of torque, the Wrangler Rubicon 392 is the most capable and powerful Wrangler yet, on and off road. This is the first time in more than 40 years that a V8 engine has been a factory installed option in a Wrangler, fulfilling a years long request from Jeep fans. Other key features of the Rubicon 392 include a functional hood scoop with the hydro guide induction system to feed the powerful engine, and steering wheel mounted shift paddles for performance driving. The Wrangler Rubicon 392 reaches showrooms in the first quarter of next year. For the third consecutive year, the Ram 1500 pickup has been named to Car and Driver Magazine's 10 Best Vehicles list. It is the only pickup to make this year's list. The magazine evaluates contenders versus its peers using a 100-point scale, basing each score on how well a vehicle meets its intended purpose, how good a value it is, and how compelling it is to operate. Also making space in the Ram Trophy case more scarce, US News & World Report named Ram the best truck brand for 2021. It's the second consecutive year Ram has earned the title. The ranking is based on an in-depth analysis by the publication of all credible published reviews and test drives, as well as reliability and safety data. And finally, production of the redesigned 2021 Chrysler Pacifica minivan has launched at the assembly plant in Windsor, Ontario. Highlights of the 2021 Pacifica include the availability of all-wheel drive, the next-generation Uconnect 5 system, FamCam interior camera, and a new top-of-the-line Pinnacle trim. The Pacifica continues to be the only minivan in the segment with an available plug-in hybrid powertrain, which delivers up to 30 miles of all-electric range. Those are this week's top stories on FCA Replay. Reporting for FCA Digital Media, I'm Peter Spezia.